Hello YouTube, I'm PCJ Law, and in today's video we're carrying on with our walkthrough of a deity domination victory as the Huns. Now in today's video, we have to defend. We've been declared war on by Assyria in the mid game, and we're going to have to be defending during the crossbowmen and knights era. You can see Assyria, even though they're at war with the Aztecs, decided to declare war on us alongside one city, Ethiopia, who came back from the dead and got liberated. Um, and we're going to have to deal with that. So first things first, we've upgraded all of our units. That was important for us to do. What can we do here? I think we can move here. First things first, we had three horse archers that we've upgraded to knights. Now knights are valuable because they're melee. They've got loads of movement. They've got 20 combat strength. It's, I think, probably the best we've got access to at this point in the game. In fact, it is the best we've got access to because the long swordsman would be combat strength 21. But we haven't researched still. And... I don't know if I'd like to research still going down on this bottom section of the tree is going to be it's going to slow our tech down somewhat so if we can avoid it we won't the knight has more movement it's got one less combat strength the horses are going to be quite valuable for us they give us a lot of maneuverability and to be honest most of our killing is going to be done with the crossbowman now this should be fine until the AI starts really putting something stronger than lancers on the field say riflemen or cavalry we should be able to defend this attack off rather easily as long as we don't get ourselves hit by these trebuchets here i wonder if we can just shoot this trebuchet with our horse archer trouble is the horse archer yeah we'll see what the trebuchet does i don't think it can really hurt to do that so we'll go ahead and do it and we'll continue on our little merry way here what can we do to maybe speed up some production come around here with this worker poland looked like they wanted to declare war but they're now also at war with Syria, so hopefully they'll help us out. I don't think this war is going to be too bad for us, but famous last words. No open borders for you. Yeah, they're already just running around and not really doing a lot. In fact, the city-state's already running away as well. Pillaging tiles, that's never fun. We probably had someone working that. So let's put that there now. I feel like this is the way we could really do with working these university slots somewhere and we'll actually probably take off some of these food tiles that we were working to work the university and probably the workshop slots while we're unhappy. Have we just lost a deal? Yeah, our deal with Montezuma has ended. I mean, we might get a more, a better deal now. In fact, we lost the deal with Montezuma because they lost the resource. So it looks like we're not really going to get that. I don't really think there's anything else we can get. We just need to improve some happiness. Almaty's in with them as well. Sure. I wonder what we've got then that can help us get some happiness back. I mean, the Circus Maximus needs a Colosseum in Lalibella, which is currently building an aqueduct, even though it really doesn't need it. So let's switch to a Colosseum there instead. And just move this scientist out. We'll come around here with our knights. I wonder if we can actually... Yeah, we can kill this this turn. So let's do that. And then let's step out and try and deal some more damage to this unit here. Nothing seems to want to attack us so far, so that's good. And we've got our general. I mean, I, th I feel like... Touch wood. Um, this is actually going to be quite easy for us to fend off. And it should be, in fairness, it should be. I do just wonder whether or not we're supposed to go and take a sir while we're at it. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> which city-state has taken Tlaxcala? That's unfortunate. I wonder if this is also a good excuse for us to take Alma tea. They've got wine. Are we currently receiving wine? Let's see, are we getting happiness? We are currently getting happiness from wine. I wonder from who? Who's giving us the wine? Let's see, luxuries. Yeah, we're getting one from wine from somewhere. Is it? Oh, <laughs> duh. Lalibella. Alas. Go here, keep chopping some stuff down. Yeah, our scout is not long for this world, it has to be said. Let's keep moving just in case. Okay. Not too much left to do here now. Maybe this tile over there by Kilimanjaro to be improved. This worker here has done some good stuff as well. It's unfortunate that we've lost some happiness, although I don't see an easy way to get it back without building our buildings. So, is what it is. Let's get this Colosseum built in Lullabella. Maybe it was Slax Carla that lost the resource that we had. 
sure we'll have open borders this time. Don't want you to leave our land. These trebuchets are ripe for the killing. So is that city-state. We've rigged our election and finally lost a different scout to the one I expected, though this one is also pretty dead. We can... I'm, I was hoping that we'd be able to kill this, and in fact, we can. There we go. Another one dead. Let's go out here and look at this trebuchet too. Keep moving around with our general. We could maybe use our general to steal another luxury if there's one available. I don't know what we take because there's a second marble, but we don't need trades. We need uniques. So I wonder if there's any unique luxuries at all anywhere near us that we could take. The answer is I don't think so because we've sold... Oh, it's this furs that's been pillaged. Is that the reason why we're struggling for happiness? No, we're actually still getting the furs, so we're going to lose that too in a minute. I mean, we're getting furs from Antwerp. Drop this down. Keep moving on. This is complete. Addis Ababa. Could really use some happiness. Do any of these other cities have buildings that could give us some? I guess there's a cathedral if we had any faith, but we don't. Yeah, we just need to build zoos. Well, we'll build around a crossbowman and then we'll build some zoos. Let's move back. Yeah. Nice. What were these guys going to do? This one was still heading over there. Just keep improving some tiles around Lullabella in case... Well, we shouldn't do that, really. We're about, we're about to get our unit captured by this crossbowman. This is going okay so far, though. I, I don't know why they declared war on us at all. It just seems they're running away. And it's not done anything. Our declaration of friendship with Venice has expired. We can maybe go get that back. Nice. We've got a great artist now as well. Save them. Yes, we'll bombard this musketman. We haven't actually lost our furs. So that's quite nice. I'd really like to kill that. We're at war with Milan. And we don't need to be. No luxuries for us to take, are there? Sort of doing the due diligence check. Because we've got double of this. The marble. So that's only a duplicate. And we've got Almaty's wine. No. It doesn't seem to be anything. Not unless there's anything around Baghdad. Which there could be. No peace. Oh, come on, man. You're already losing. How can you want no peace? Is that going to be... Hmm. Maybe if we shoot this thing with two horse archers, can we get it close to death? No. Uh, no. Because we can't get near it to hit it. Probably should have moved the general up. The Aztecs are around Milan. Well, we'll come around here and we'll just be there to ambush it next turn. Heal, please. <laughs> please heal. Okay, and our crossbows are done now. It's immediate round of crossbowmen. We need the ironworks here. Let's get that and a zoo. Zoo seems important. Keep building some farms. We should be able to get our happiness back on track soon enough. The loss of that deal... This is one of the issues with always relying so hard on deals with AIs is that when you get something stupid like this happen, you do end up in a little bit of happiness trouble. But it's okay. I mean, we sorted this now and we'll carry on some conquest. We'll see how far we can get towards Assyria. I mean, we're not going to be able to kill anything, but you never know if there's another city that might be worth taking. This can get March to heal every turn. Because it upgrades into melee units, we'll take that. This seems like an easy win. So we'll take that. And see what else we can get up to here. It could be something valuable in Baghdad. And it would be nice if we 
took the stuff that is there in Baghdad before. I'm not sure why we're just chilling there. Um, if there's anything in Baghdad, we can try and take it before we peace out, or potentially like give Baghdad back to give Baghdad back to Arabia. Temple's done here. We'll build a zoo. In fact, we'll get zoos everywhere. It's also a one-turn temple. Or a three-turn zoo, so let's do that. Addis Ababa appeared to have some production overflow. Oh, I mean, we could catch him. I don't want to catch him, Milan. So we should probably peace out with them. Since they are with Byzantium. Let's keep moving around. You never know what you can find. I would like to get a bit of scouting done in Baghdad. This appears to have really not gone well for Assyria and Ethiopia. I'd like to put Ethiopia out of the game again because they will be a constant thorn in our side. I do wonder if Ethiopia was the culprit for this war declaration that we've taken. I'll just heal. Because they definitely don't like us. And so I wouldn't be shocked. Here we go. There's a war on Poland again. Milan's back at war with us. Ah. Oh. We lost a bit of gold per turn. Shame we can't attack that and kill it. Okay. Yeah, we lost some deals. So let's maybe get some deals back. In fact, all the horses that Venice will take, you can have them. And then maybe Theodora would like to do the same. At least two for three. Okay. We're going to keep getting some of that sweet gold per turn off the AI. We do need it. Because we are losing five science per turn because of this right now. It's not a huge issue. Like When we get some markets, we'll be okay. But Small issues right now at the very least. Okay. Can't wait for these Colosseums and Zoos to be done. Do we just attack this city-state unit? I mean, I don't want to, so I think the answer is no. I was hoping to see something around Baghdad that we might be able to take. And I don't think that's the case. Like a little city-state resource or something. I mean, if Assyria wants to peace us, we'll take that at any time. Otherwise, we'll liberate Baghdad back to Assyria. Back to, back to Assyria. Back to... Um, we'll liberate Baghdad. Back to Arabia, I think. Let's move this way. We want to be away from this marauding city-state, if possible. Let's keep moving over. Maybe we can do something to Zurich. Don't know. And Zurich's got loads of city combat strength. We need trebuchets if we want to take it down. I don't really want to take a city. But we can, at the very least, lay some hurt on them here. So what can we do? We've got horse archers. Not going to do a lot to the musketmen. Just wondering if there's any way to get more shots on here. This horse arch is basically useless. Is this a hill? Just jungle plains hill. Okay, both of these guys can... No, this guy can't shoot. Well, it's fine anyway. He wasn't really going to do a lot. Well, let's bombard this. And maybe a couple of night hits will take it down. Nice. Just trying to not leave. I mean, we're a little bit in range of some of these units now. I don't think so, but... And then let's keep bringing our general back and get this knight just fortified a minute. And we'll shuffle this crossbow over just in case we can find a slightly better spot to be. We'll keep moving the horse archer around too. Yeah, losing gold. Aware of that. Minus nine now. City State keeps getting an instant heal, I think. Well, this is going well. And we're nearly happy too, because these um, these zoos are done next turn. All three of them, in fact. Very good. And Tara, well, you know what we want. A zoo. Nice. Well, our happiness is... Oh! Okay, well, Arabia wants some more now too. Sure. <laughs> I was going to liberate Baghdad for you, but I guess not. But we are happy, so we'll take that. <laughs> We'll take March on this unit, just because I guess every turn healing is going to be quite valuable. We'll keep trying to see when we can peace out with Ashurbanipal. We've already got enough to just be able to defend here. 
As long as no one pillages our furs, life is going to be perfectly fine. That's finally dead. Okay. Maybe up onto this hill. More city-states, why not? Losing more gold. Does that mean we've got more to give away to Theodora? The answer is yes. Melima. Okay. Well, there's our zoo done. We are in quite a pit in terms of gold. So I wonder if we build a bank. Or maybe the East India Company. Must have built a market in all cities. Trade routes give some more gold, I guess. I feel like the bank's probably overall better. Build a bank. It never hurts to build the East India Company, though. Yeah, we are back to growing again, so let's make sure we're ready to do that. Not So that we're not working too many tiles that aren't conducive to growth. We don't need to rush buildings here anymore, so we can get back to working our civil service farms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three plus food tiles. That feels ideal. We don't really need to be in this workshop slot either. So let's go up here. Something like this. Then over here... We're doing something similar. We don't have the rationalism policy yet that gives us science from specialists, so we don't really need to be working the workshop slots until then. But we are working our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe three plus food tiles here now. So this feels good to lock onto the lumber mill and work our slots. Make sure we're working the slots everywhere, which we are. All the extra science is valuable. Here, this is definitely the place to go. We're in a really big gold pit. <laughs> But I really don't like working that tile. It doesn't feel ideal. Let's reset the tile assignments here. Just because that feels necessary. Work all our three plus food tiles. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we want to work the lumber mill tile. Probably these two tiles. And just leave this one flexible. This ideally should go on a food tile, but... We're just going to work the gold right now because we're in a really large gold pit. Could work our gold here in the capital. It's a bit it's a bit much to give up the food for, but can we overall get more food or something like that? Like three food, three production versus four food, four production if we go into some of this stuff. Doesn't feel good, but it is gold. But we're not... I mean, we're in a gold deficit, but it's not that bad. I mean, it definitely is that bad. <laughs> but we will build this bank. Yeah, it's not going to get better either. Oh, well. We've got more good tiles to work. Need to switch this over. Like that. So we've got... We're not working our silver here either. That's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine three plus food tiles here, so we could get away with working the silver. Maybe we'll grow onto it and then work it. That feels like a good idea. I think our gold issue is going to be solved somewhat soon. Let's not stress too much about it. While well, the units need orders, oh, this is Syria war. I, th I feel like just pulling back is the smart move here. And then let's like move around a bit. Because there just doesn't seem any real reason to stay in, in this area when Assyria looks like it's running. And we'll just see what we do with Zurich. There really doesn't look like there's anything that we can great general, so. Okay. Open no, borders okay. with Venice. I'm sure that's fine. I mean, we're at war with all of the weakest civs in the game here. If there was any way that we could get over to Mecca and just take it, I would love that. Maybe we should peace Ethiopia. Still has business to settle, apparently. Four out of our five cities grew that turn. Yeah, none of these city-states make sense for us to capture, unfortunately. I'm always trying to eye up some of these city-states. When you get a free declaration of war by the AI that puts you at war with a city-state, it's never a bad thing to just have a quick look and see if capturing them is going to be worth your while. But we just don't get anything new for it. Looks like Ethiopia's... I'm hoping Ethiopia just gets killed by Poland. That's what I was hoping for. In fact, are they at war with Poland? 
No, they're just at the hunt. They're all with us in Antwerp. But it would be nice if we got Poland at war with Ethiopia as well. And then and then Poland can just kill them. No. Yes. They won't do it though. Just keep checking for peace every turn. There's no need to be at war if we don't have to be. But we might have needed like 10 turns. And it might not have been the 10 turns past yet. We're just going to sit here and be prepared to shoot on our hills. We got more of like full strength and night. This one here. Just heal the rest of these. Doesn't really make sense to go anywhere. Because Hurrah's not on a hill. It makes sense to get the crossbow up here maybe. So we'll move this crossbow into Hurrah. And then keep the horse archer up there. Yeah, the, ge the general can stay in Hurrah as well. You never know what we'll need the general for later. We might be able to use it to nick a good tile. See if any of these units do anything more suicidal. Another something that's come to war with us. This musketman stepped into our territory though. I'd quite like to focus on killing it. <laughs> We've got three units that can shoot it though. It'll be nice to not let that get away. So let's just not let that get away. And then we'll shoot it. And then we'll use one of our healthy knights with march on to come up here and hit it. Okay. A bit like that. Intense and silver with Venice has ended, so we need to get that back. Saluti. That was keeping us happy, apparently. Carry on. We could... We, we need zoo. We need a zoo in Lalibella as well, and I would like one, but... This city is going to take a while to catch up. Okay. It's a Ethiopian crossbow there. More tiles done in Lublin. It would be nice if we had eventually got that silver here. But we don't need it. And we did want to work this silver to stabilise our gold issue. Tell us court grew as well. That's gone onto this iron, but it feels better to do that. Again, to sort our gold issue. Not like so much of a problem per se. But it's nice not to be negative gold if you can you know, do that. Can we buy with faith a scout? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Such a useful religion, Ethiopia. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let's do nothing here. Unfortunately, this crossbow, not really that useful. I really need three gold per turn for open borders now. So we can cancel. We can cancel. We can cancel that. We can cancel that. See if this musketman tries to run. Does try and run. Can we kill it? The answer is yes, we can. Very nice indeed. I do wonder if for the purposes of war. Yes, work that tile. It's perfect. I want to give that this tile here, the hill tile on the river to Lalibella. That seems perfect for that city. Would love to hand Baghdad back to Arabia. If they weren't at war with us, we could. We'd love to do something with Zurich as well. <laughs> I was thinking about running into Zurich's territory for a minute there, but that would have just been completely needless. What's this worker doing? Just standing in here. We'll move along. That one is busy waiting for that civil service farm tile to get brought into our territory and you we need a road up here and we can actually step forward one now let me get this here and we need some roads on some convenient hills so that we can more better wage war against someone like Zurich. that's what i'm bringing this worker over for i think the one that's just run next to Addis ababa we can bring it over oh right around a scientist very nice we can bring this over here to get some more convenient war roads. Our safest city is oddly our capital. So we're just going to go and stand all of our great people around it. This bank is done. I mean, maybe now, maybe here is where we can build the East India. Or something like an amphitheatre for culture. Our gold is just about fixed. We need our Circus Maximus. Scout can't really do a lot this turn. You can't. Oh, hello. That's a civil service farm. 
It was good. This caravan was going to Atella's court. It can carry on. Plus 20 food is not ideal, but our empire is going to be way more than big enough. Like, because our city is so strong so early on in the game, because we grew so fast so quickly, this is going to work out quite well for us. Really don't need to be working this wine now, so let's flip this over to one of these tiles here. And help Lalabella grow a bit more. We'll just consolidate a little bit closer to our city here. Got another copper. Not that we've got anyone to trade it to. But we have one. Sleep, Johan. And this crossbowman. What's this button for alert A? I'll let us cycle through these units a bit quicker. We've got another two happiness for that zoo. Start building our Circus Maximus and our capital next turn as well. Keep rigging the elections in Antwerp so they stay our ally. Another civil service farm to work here. I mean, Addis Ababa is going to be ridiculously good. It's going to be so, so good. And that's the power of having two AI capitals, I guess. Maybe we can start work on some amphitheaters now that we've got time in some cities. Because we need culture in order to get all of the like end-game social policies that we want in order to win. If we hit this Lancer first and then shoot it, we don't have to go in Xerix territory. And build this war road in Hurrah. Okay. I mean, we don't really need any production tiles, so we'll just move around. Still at war with Almaty. Why? I mean, I know why, but it's just so unnecessary. <laughs> We'd like to repair our fort if we can, because that was actually a pretty good fort. Sleep is F. It was actually a pretty good fort. It did quite a lot of damage before it got itself pillaged. Oh, Arabia is finally here. Welcome, Arabia. Marketing. Lalibella grows. It's now pop 11. Like, Lalibella is doing really well. It just has a really slow start because it has no buildings. Let's take March again. I always quite like units that heal every turn where possible. We take peace yet. Really, it's not the time for negotiation. Oh, come on. You're not even... You're not even... Arabia? Arabia? Assyria? You're not even winning. Uh, let's take accuracy here and heal. I really don't know what it's going to take to get peace in this war. I don't really want to invest anything in actually getting the peace, though. Yeah, now we'll build this East India Company here. Uh, Opera House. Again, got to work on culture. Which means we should probably build a Musician's Guild in our cap. Keep waiting here. I don't really know why I brought this unit. Well, I wanted to improve some more of these tiles, but we're not going to have the tiles in time. Let's keep completing some of these roads. Like the more roads we get around Hurrah, the better we'll be able to mount a defense of it. If anyone decides to move back in. These camel archers are a bit of an issue. But we've got crossbows. Crossbows can fight back. The mobility of the camel archers is a bit more of an issue. But because it's the AI that's got the command of them, we should be completely fine. Kind of need to keep working more food. Lublin grows. We got any more four food tiles for us to work here in Lublin? Would like to work those. For now, we'll just leave it sitting on this lumber mill tile. Temple done, so we'll go amphitheaters. Keep pushing for culture. Choose host. Don't really want to make a Syria host. Probably just try and make Poland happy. And let's head over into Polish territory. Once again, check for peace. It's not there. Arabia's not going to pieces either. I mean, Arabia hasn't even got to do anything yet. We improved this stone in the hope of maybe... Oh, no, I know. I didn't I didn't count up to see whether or not that would enable a stoneworks to be built anywhere. And I don't think it has. So, so much for that. Maybe we'll improve this iron. 
Just keep chilling here with the rest of our units. Oh, okay. That went on automate. It might nearly be automation time. Uh, this city is going to grow. We are getting happiness next turn. Let's come in here. In fact, we're getting like three cities growing next turn and we're getting some happiness back. I need more production, Lalabella. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Almaty, where have all of these units come from? That could actually cause us a little bit of damage. Secularism, so we get science from specialists. That means instead of working mines, we do now need to go and put someone in each of these workshop slots. So we're going to have to give up some of the hard-earned gold per turn that we had here. Workshop slot. This, um, I'm coming back out of here just because we are going to get that as a four food tile. Working our workshop slot in the workshop slot. Can work the workshop slot here. So let's do that. Maybe we'll just reset this tile assignment so that we're working all of the civil service farms available to us and that hill. That's not bad. Actually, I quite like that here. It doesn't need to grow quite so much. Again, get this. Seems fine. Amphitheatre's done here. We'll take an opera house. And here we'll do the same thing. Need a bit of gold, so we'll take that. Okay. And then the Circus Maximus is done. We said we needed Musicians Guild. I still think that's true. It helped with our culture. Although, maybe the best thing to do for our culture is at this point going to be to try and get the Hermitage out. But Lullabella is so behind. It doesn't have an Amphitheatre. So let's get a Musicians Guild. Our capital already popped 23. We grew in Harar, which we've looked at. We've grown here, which we've looked at. We've only got two happiness left as well. So we don't have that much more space to actually grow our cities. But we are also at 87 pop. And we're probably aiming to get to like 95 or 100 by the end of the game. So we're already most of the way to where we wanted to be. Hmm. These could be dangerous for our workers. Arabian camel archers have now arrived. I mean, if we can kill some, that works. I reckon we could at least take out one. Surely. Oh, yeah, we can take out one. Nice, okay. Well, that's not so much of an issue for us anymore, then. We don't. I don't really want to do anything about this one here. Oh, that knight can try and suicide itself, if need be. Let's go research more of the map. Maybe we'll find some natural wonders or something. Give us some more happiness. Just heal. Heal. Can we... Shoot that... <laughs> I mean, we might have just accidentally given it an instant heal or something. It's entirely possible. Okay, we didn't really, like, take too much damage that turn. Is this Arabia running away now? Let's see if we can kill this. Mostly. Okay. Very nice. Oh, forgot to deal with this city-state incursion down here. Thankfully, they city-states don't tend to actually really attack cities. Not sure why. Yeah, cathedral. Faith and culture. Capital's not got this religion. I'll take the cathedral here, then. Now that opera house is built. Now we'll get the East India Company. Not really a lot left. Now we're, in oh, we're going to have to be building World's Fair next turn anyway. That's entirely fine. And keep exploring. Let's crack off. Uh, 
approve the mine. This is done. Get back to Lublin. Artist needs to sleep. Worker needs to wait. And then these people can fortify until healed. All around quite successful. Ah, oh, this deal. Surely we can get slightly better terms. I would like better terms. Nope. Yes, okay. Better terms. That'll do nicely. Wants to go to war with Venice. I don't think he's my friend. He's my friend, Poland. I don't want to war Venice. This crossbow had an improvement. We don't even need to attack here. We can just shoot it. Nice. Uh, what can we do here? This general needs to go somewhere where it's going to be slightly safer. Well, not safer, but it can't move anywhere that's unsafe. Then we'll get roads on some of these hills as well. So World's Fair's passed and Silk has been banned. For no good reason. We'll go into the World's Fair. Oh, not the Porcelain Tower. The World's Fair everywhere we can. We'll just wait a turn in our capital just because it's one turn to finish the building anyway. And we're not going to go for World's Fair here. We just want to get with World's Fair. Um, you want to propose it immediately if you get the ability to propose. Just because every AI will like you for doing it. And then you want to aim for the free social policy. That's the silver medal. 234.5 production. No real point in getting adding any more. Because often the AI is going to outproduce you to something like this. Though we have a chance. Um, for the double culture. And the double culture is really powerful. But the free social policy is what we want. And you can get that practically every game if you want it. Venice has got Roclaw. Hello. When did that happen? <laughs> oh, R.I.P. R.I.P. Caravan to... Uh, that was a f that was food to Lalibella, but this really needs to be production to Lalibella. And it probably wants to be production to Lalibella from Addis Ababa just because it's a slightly safer trade route. Okay. Really love to repair this citadel. Take that deal. Our knight keeps taking some hits here. Scientific theory. Got another spy. Higher. Ugh, the Aztecs have got so much influence. We can't really take over that. And everyone else just is at war with us. Apart from Anton and Arivo. Jewelry and furs. And Bella grows. Work the food tile. Send Lalabella a production caravan. Because that's going to get its production going. And that should hopefully allow this to catch up a lot sooner. It probably was best to actually send it a production caravan straight away, but... And now, I think what we'll do is we'll take industrialization in case we can get factories. And then go straight to radio. Now, we've entered on scientific theory first, and this is an important mid-game choice. Um, people often ask, should we enter the industrial era on industrialization for the power of factories? Or should we enter the industrial era for the public schools, for the science? Now, the traditional science beeline will tell you that you should basically just cl basically click on the next sci science tech after the science tech that you just got to. So you're basically clicking on education, then you're clicking on public schools, and then you're clicking on research labs. However, factories are really, really, really powerful building. Like, factories are absolutely game-changing for the production that you get in your city. The unfortunate thing about factories is... When you go into the industrial era, well, you need coal to get your factories. So let's say you go into the industrial era, you take industrialization to go in, you get your coal, it takes four or five turns to get online. Then you need to actually build your factories. And um, But the problem is you take this, um, you get your coal online in your four or five turns, and um, then you click to research scientific theory. And well, by the time you finish getting your coal online, you now have scientific theory. And now you've got a bit of a dilemma. Either you're building your public schools or your factories, but you can't build both at the same time. Um, whereas if you enter the industrial era on public schools, you can build your public schools first. Then while you're getting your coal online, then once your coal is online, you can immediately build your factories. Um, just saves you from really like wasting a little bit of building time. And that's if you even get coal in the first place. And oftentimes, you may not even get coal in a game of Civ 5. 
And what you don't want to do is enter the industrial era on coal, delay your public schools, um, aiming for a resource that you might not even get. Let's finish this road, why not? This knight has been taking a bit of a beating, so I would now quite like to move it back. And let's see if we can kill this pikeman. I mean, we can definitely kill it. And let's use some... Just take one knight here. And now the pikeman's down. Build some more farms. Still waiting. This worker's been waiting there for a long, long time. Keep sending... Do we need to keep sending food to Addis Ababa? I mean, it'll get better if we do. But Attila's Court... Attila's Court was struggling for food. And we actually probably need to send that to Attila's Court. I know we're sending three caravans to Attila's Court right now. But maybe we need to send a fourth. Just because it will benefit us to grow the capital a little bit more here. It's got lots of great tiles to work. So does Addis Ababa for what it's worth. But it's nearly there. Uh, it would be really good. We'll keep feeding Addis Ababa. There's no sense in sending four trade routes to the capital. The capital be what it be. I think. Is what we'll take away from this. Okay. And then we're just going to alert here. We're constantly taking hits and getting shot on this knight. It's there to block, kind of. Yeah, here we go. Arabia, back off. Unwise war declaration. World's Fair, 48% complete. We've got 298 production in it. I'm almost wondering. We have a chance to win it here. Keep taking march on these knights. It's nice for them to heal every turn when they attack. There are some people who like going down the trees to get you two attacks, but... One of the big things I always preach with your melee units is we need to actually back out of this just a little bit here. No need to be there anymore. And one of the things that I like to preach with melee units is that the problem with melee units and the problem with using melee units to attack. Now you've seen me doing a bit of attacking with these knights, but primarily you've seen me taking shots with crossbows and not with the knights. The problem with melee units is when you hit an opposition unit, well, your melee unit takes damage back. And when your melee unit takes damage back, that's not necessarily a bad thing, especially if it's a winning trade. But the name of the game in war on all of Civ 5 and Deity Difficulty, it's even, even, even more true. Is essentially you don't want to lose unit. The AI is always going to outproduce you. You having to produce stuff is always going to be... Producing units is always detrimental to you than not producing units. A bit of like a... <laughs> What's the word? Like an obvious statement, but it is true. Like it's better to keep hold of your units than lose them. So what you want to do on Civ is to try not to lose units. And when you use a melee unit to attack another unit, well, your melee unit makes, takes damage and now it can't move. Um, and essentially what you're doing is you're saying, well, instead of having to kill my unit by taking down all 100 HP in one turn, because if they don't kill in a turn, I can move my unit back and I can take... Say this knight, if this knight doesn't get killed in one turn, I can move it back to hurrah. And now that unit is safe and it can heal up and I don't have to produce another one. Um, but if I do a melee attack, well, instead of them having to take down all 100 hit points before in one turn so that I lose the unit, they now only have to take down 56 hit points in one turn before I lose the unit. That makes me much more likely to use, lose the unit. And so in general, it is better to not risk losing the unit by saying, hey, AI, you now only have to take down 65 p, not 65 HP, not 100. And you want to ensure that the AI is having to take down 100 HP per turn on your melee units where possible. And in general, on all of your units where possible. Now, the only other thing is that with your ranged units, those are your main damage dealers because they can attack without taking any damage back. So the best way to do this, and you've seen this put us in action a little bit, is to use your melee units to block in front of your ranged units. And that's simply because your ranged units have equivalent combat strength to the equivalent units in this era. Like the knight is quite literally on the same line in our tech tree as the crossbowman. Here's the knight, here's the crossbowman. Um, but the difference is, is that um, knights have combat strength of 20. That's their melee combat strength. That's why it's got the shield symbol. Um, that means that on attack and defense, it has a combat strength of 20. Whereas the crossbowman um, has a combat strength of 13 on defense with the shield symbol. And it's got a combat strength of 18 when attacking with range. That just means that um, the bigger the combat strength, the better the unit. And so we should be taking hits with our knights because they've got higher defensive, defensive combat strength than our ranged units. And that's kind of the trade-off that you get with melee versus ranged. It's like ranged... They don't take damage when they attack, but therefore they are weaker when they are attacked. And then 
the melee units take damage when they're attacked, but therefore they are stronger when they are attacked and also when they do the attacking. So we use our melee units to block because they have the higher defensive combat strength. And then we use the fact that we've got a two range with our range units to actually do the damage. That way we maintain as many of our units on as high hit points as possible so that we're not at risk of losing them in one turn from the AI. It's kind of why we're doing our little bits and pieces like that here. Keep waiting, keep building, and keep waiting again. And we're not getting aggressive now towards the AI. We've got a really nice kill box set up here where we're just using units to shoot into basically any unit that comes in here. Because we've got the knights, we can one turn them. And you've seen me disobeying this melee unit attacking rule just a little bit with the knight. That's because the knight, um, and I think this is the case with most cavalry units, has this promotion here, can move after attacking. That means if it's got any movement left after it attacks, this knight can move again. And that is just an absolute game changer for your melee units. It's why you tend to see a lot of people uh, making use of knights and cavalry in these areas of the game. So cavalry down here at military science and knights up here at chivalry. Over the mainline melee units, such as your long swordsmen and your musketmen and your riflemen. Not least because actually cavalry with a combat strength of 20, well actually... The so musketmen of a combat strength of 24. I mean, it, it is like 20% less, but you can move after attacking and you can still block just as well. So if you just want to block it, you can use the musketmen. But these units, if you need to, can help out in a pinch with some attacks too because the main drawback of attacking with melee units is the fact that they take damage when they attack. But if you can run away, you're now at not risk of losing all of your hit points in one turn. So you've seen us using our... Our knights a little bit to that effect. We just so desperately need the zoo. I still want to, don't want to change Lalibella's production over. But we're going to have a go at trying to win the World's Fair here. Because you never know. Here's we got some new iron. See how much Theodora likes us. She will take more. There we go. It would be nice if some of these wars ended at some point though. Just because, like, I mean, it's not really an issue now, but it would just be nice to have a safe empire at some point. We need to work this Musician's Guild desperately. Because we're unhappy, let's do this. Assuming we lost a trade somewhere. Oh, no, we didn't. Did we just, like, grow into unhappiness last turn? I think we did. The answer is we did, because we grew three times and we only had two happiness. That's just absolutely my bad. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. We'll finish the zoo in two turns and then we'll just have to deal with it for a bit. We do we do now have 91 population and like being happy without having to have ideologies and having 91 population is a big win in and of itself. We really don't need too much extra pop so it's not too much of an issue to be unhappy here. But you know, better to be happy if you can be. It improves the output of your empire if nothing else. Running out of things to improve here in Hurrah now. Maybe we'll chop down some jungle tiles because jungle does impede visibility. So you can't shoot over a jungle hill. I don't think you can shoot over or you might have to be in a jungle hill in order to shoot over it or some weird rule like that. But you can shoot over hills if you're on another hill. But if you're on a hill and then you're trying to shoot over a jungle hill, you can't do that. So we're going to we'll move this general back now. This needs to keep going to Teller's Court. And you're done. Maybe put one road there. Oh, it's a 15 gold per turn as well. I'm assuming a costly deal of... Oh, here we go. All of the deals we did to get gold ended. Now, one thing I didn't do... Was trying to have a look around. We've won the World's Fair! Happy days. It's funny, on Deity, because everyone sort of does it a bit, but not a lot. You can sometimes win it with 500 production. And we've won the World's Fair here, and our culture is up to 120 now. That is the huge boon we needed in this game. We've got all of our gold back. Assyria's gone autocracy. Sure. I mean, I quite like autocracy as well. And we might have struggled to also take autocracy. Let's kill some units. Lalibella's actually being attacked now. And we're actually being attacked over here too. What's going on? We need to fall back to closer to Hurrah now that we've got another wave coming. Let's bring a knight over.
and then fall back closer to hurrah just because we'll put this here we'll fall back with this knight maybe just there i don't know yet we don't really want to let the ai next to our city if we cut if we like can avoid it the knight is actually going to heal this turn we want to try and pull the ai into a bit of a kill box now where possible which means giving up a little bit of land so that we can shoot. And that probably means just going back like this so that the AI will land on these tiles near Hurrah so that we can shoot from them. Build our public schools now the World's Fair is done. We need to be building them everywhere. Whatever building you're currently doing, public schools are way more important. Finally get like a I would build science buildings here, but I'm not entirely sure it's worthwhile. Quebec City. Venice is really expanding. Can we get peace? Of course we can't. I was hoping that there'd be some kind of war weariness with the AI kick in at some point. Attire is the city-state we want to go for. Yeah. But Antonana Revo is the easiest one to achieve. Can we get silk anywhere? Has anyone got some silk? Because we can make progress if we can get silk from somewhere. Probably not. I mean, if we go in... Yeah, we need to get silk. Let's just put our person in tire. Been delaying this choice for a little bit too long now. And then we might eventually get hold of them, is the idea. And they'll be the most valuable city-state for us to get hold of next. I wonder if we should Golden Age now. Oh, we are in an 8-turn Golden Age. No need. Because the Golden Age would get us the most out of our culture boost from the World's Fair. Yeah, we do need to make sure that we don't lose Lullabella. What's the battering ram? It's the trebuchet. Sure. Let's <laughs> have a trebuchet. Should we build a road here? Why not? Give us some mobility around Hurrah. Because there's no siege engines here from Almaty. This isn't going to be too much of an issue. We just need to make sure we don't accidentally lose it. Here we go. Can we kill this in one turn? Yeah, nice. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. There's the movement in action. Should have gone back on that tile. Crossbowmen can shoot us now. But I don't think we're at risk of losing that in one turn. Yeah, see, all these units have come in banned. We need to figure out the best way of dealing with this. Now, the things that we have to do, this Lancer that stood right there, can only be shot by certain units of ours. And because we've started hurting it, it makes sense to try and kill it. Maybe like a... I think two crossbow shots should take it down. And then we can use City Bombardment here. Shoot that. And maybe we back up into the city with our general and we give up this tile so that we can shoot the unit that's on the tile. You need to get out of here because we need to save this worker. And this knight heals every turn so it's not an issue doing an attack. And then, yeah, we've got this knight that's just healing. If we start losing units, we might need to bring a few more to the war effort. But right now, it's not too much of an issue. We're happy again. War's starting to become a not a pain, but it is stuff to concentrate on. When we don't really need to be. Let's bring this horse archer this way. We can improve. We can upgrade this to a knight now too. Let's just do that. Not really useful. If you want to go to war with Poland, go to war with Poland. <laughs> Yeah, Syria is back, but they're sort of prancing around a little near Hurrah without doing anything. I don't really want to shoot this. Even though we can do a decent amount of damage, it just give us give it some XP. We can't kill it in one turn, so there's no need to try and do anything with that. Olabella is still doing very well. Let's take this 2-1 production tile. Okay... 
If we could just get one more trade with the AI, we'd have decent happiness. And hey, look, there's some coal. I forgot that we researched industrialization and just not gotten anything from that, which is pretty classic. Let's go here. Are these guys still at war? No, they're not at war with Assyria anymore. Well, that'd be why we're seeing an influx of I units, but we can get peace with Assyria now. Peace with Ethiopia? No. Peace with Arabia? No. Yeah, but let's have peace with Assyria. Yes. Okay, nice. So we have our peace treaty. He's got spare pearls. Of course, he doesn't blame us for the war, because why would he? He's Assyria. He's like, no, 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 no. Nothing going on here. Peace out with Milan. Yeah, not worth trying to be allies with Milan. And we are at peace with most of the city-states now in the game. Bogota. Only 118 influence to overtake in Bogota. We aren't currently getting cotton, so actually, we'd quite like to move this from Tyre to Bogota. Always helpful to get yourself a cultural city-state ally if you can. So we're going to go put our spy to work in Bogota. Hmm. I think we've got that mostly cleaned up. That's the war done. We can maybe try and convince our city's borders to expand to this coal by just chopping it down. And now we've got a bunch of knights that don't really have anything to do because there's no real wars going on anymore. We'll leave them around our cities just for a minute. Maybe just get on the road so we're ready to deploy you to wherever you need to go. Just all alert, please. Um, you can sleep. That is hotkey F. Yeah, just units just stand around. Just in case we need to redeploy you all. Finish the road. Get on the other side now. This is a big deal. I mean, we need this deal. But surely we can get this cheaper. We were paying 18 gold per turn for it, which is where most of our gold is gone. But we do need it. And so we we should keep it if we can. Just value your horse. There we go, 17 and a horse. Fine. We need the deal, we need the happiness. Squeezing a little bit more out. More deals ended. Two cities love the king, because we got those pearls back. Very nice. And now let's work on... Be nice to get a university here at some point but let's make sure not to slow down our work towards our hermitage we have a public school slot which means we need to immediately work it we're starting to struggle now in here for good tiles to for like re citizens that we give up to work these slots probably have to give up this production tile to go take a public school slot and that's fine Okay. Otherwise, we're pretty good here. We're pretty good. Yeah, just like... I think some of these workers are a little bit obsolete now. So we should maybe start thinking of trying to get rid of some. Are any of them city status workers that we've nicked? No, but we can delete some. We've got... Eight workers across five cities. We can go down to seven. Let's just delete one. And then the rest can stay chill. And put all of these units on alert. Don't really want to move them yet, just in case we get a bit of war inbound. From... Let's go back up on here. Can just get our crossbows leading the way. There we go. We should put a unit in the city because that saves gold. And then this knight can come back to Lublin. Don't really need one in the capital, so we won't worry about putting one there. But if we put units in the city, that saves us. Some upkeep cost. Syria wants a deal. We've got a load of gold per turn now. Uh, Poland is at war with Venice. That was always going to happen. I feel like that probably happened before and I forgot. <laughs> Free thought, extra science from universities. Now it makes sense to have a university. And if this means we need to get one in Lalabella. 
Well, all of those deals ended. That has hurt our GPT, but that's also okay. Public schools in two turns will go deal with those city growths when that happens. So who likes us? Venice likes Salute. us. Give us some gold per turn. Benissimo. How much do you have that much? Poland likes us, so we can trade Australia. a few more horses to Poland. Not enough, apparently. So let's maybe say goodbye to Poland, and let's see if we can give some away to Byzantium. Melima. Should be able to. And give away some spare Melima. iron too. It's doing two for three, because we might as well take all the gold we can get. It is deity difficulty. We've had a lot of wars. So I don't feel bad about cheesing them a little bit right now. So we'll just keep doing this. That's all done. Would be nice to get a war between the Aztecs and Assyria again, if we can. Five iron, one horse, and open borders. Why well, about six iron and one horse? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Nope, don't want to declare war on Theodora. Can we not go there? Let's move around. And that's going to help. Um, so you've noticed that I've been keeping our artists and writers and not like bulbing them for their immediate benefits and not turning them into great works. That's because we don't really want great works. We're not doing tourism and so the great works don't really turn out to be that helpful for us. I mean, it's culture per term, which is always nice. Um, but they're much more valuable for basically getting to choose to earn a social policy when you want, because each great writer will roughly net you about half of your progress towards a social policy. So if you've got two writers sitting around, you can basically take a social policy that you, whenever you want it. And so we're saving those writers for an opportune moment to take a social policy when we want it. However, um, and the same with the artists, we're waiting basically until the most important period of time to take our golden age bonus. And it might be worth carrying on our golden age now because we do still have 15 turns left of our World Congress project. And if we're in a golden age, we're going to get extra culture for that. So I am going to carry on our golden age with at least one of these artists here just so that we can maximize all this extra culture that we're getting. As for these writers, the only thing I'm thinking is that because we're basically already at our highest culture of the game um, and these writers get us the most benefit when we're at our highest culture, while there are still useful social policies to take, and when we basically once we get an ideology, there will be, um, it does make sense to bulb at least a couple of these artists, because we'll probably generate one or two more before the end of the game, which means we'll have a couple later to time when we can take the rationalism finisher to get the most expensive tech we possibly can, because you get a free tech, you want to get the most expensive one, you want to choose when that happens, and that's what you're saving your writers for. Um, but these musicians serve no purpose for performing a concert at all, unless you're doing a tourism victory. So we can turn them into great work straight away. Might as well take the extra four culture that we seem to have gotten with it. Wait here, wait here. Another civil service farm in Lublin. Lublin is turning into a really good city all of a sudden. We don't actually have anything we want to give up to work this. Maybe this tile? Why not? Because we're going to grow in two turns. Unit needs orders. Just want to finish these roads. They're a little bit unnecessary, but it never hurts to be prepared for another war around the area. And these roads give us all the maneuverability we need to do that. Maneuverability is often the biggest thing in war. Question is, should we? can we rush by something here in Lalibella? To help us along to something we really need. Probably. Because we could get some gold off Venice and then rush by something here in Lalibella. And that will help push this city on rather nicely. Like, can we, do we at least want to try and rush by some universities? Or maybe the point is to rush by a factory if we get coal. And I'm almost tempted. If chopping this down doesn't convince our city to grow to the coal, we will now use our great general to get it for us. And we might even just put the general down on the coal. Just to maximise what we get. More deals ended with everyone. So I guess we need to get those back. We'll have embassies for you. We'll get your cocoa. And that's probably it. I guess we were trading cocoa with Casimir or something. Up to seven happiness now. That will tide us over. Need to think about what ideology we want next at some point. Venice looks like it might be in trouble. <laughs> Do you need to think about what ideology we want at some point? I did. We did see earlier that 
Assyria took autocracy. And maybe that means we want to go autocracy. Autocracy is probably one of the best for a domination victory anyway. This actually needs to go in the public school slot. Autocracy is probably one of the best to go for for a domination victory anyway. So it's maybe not the worst thing. We're going to grow. Let's do that. It's a real shame not to be working that silver, but we don't need the gold per turn right now. Let's chop down this jungle. It's impairing our line of sight. Autocracy is not the not. It's actually probably one of the best social policies to go for for domination. For domination, we're looking at freedom or autocracy, ideally, and that's just because freedom gives us a bonus toward bonus towards unit production, and that's really powerful. And autocracy just gives us all these like different war focused power upgrades. Wow. <laughs> okay, the aluminium is like right under the citadel. Well then, let's move over here and improve that. Yeah, our borders aren't moving to that. Let's go and just steal that next turn. A few more growths. Another great person. Our aluminium source. There's three. We have one, two, three. We've got four cities on rivers, which means we actually need some more aluminium. And there's eight here. Well, let's get a worker down. Have we got one nearby? And oh, we've got these two that are just standing around doing absolutely nothing. Yeah, really want that tile. Really want this tile. Let's just take this one. Let's buy this one. Because we're going to um, border grow to the other one. And just immediately build some hydro plants. Wait. Why do we already have aluminium online? Where's that coming from? It's not because our citadel's on it, is it? Surely not. There's got to be... Is there a reason why that's the case? None of our cities are on aluminium, are they? It's on a deer... Is this on a deer tile? Oh! Come on, Ethiopia! Yeah, no. Olibella's not on a... Uh, no. Lublin's not on one. Is it already come improved for us or something? I wonder if I'm missing anything. We'll see. When we finally improve that tile, I guess we'll figure it out. Uh, auto explore. <laughs> wait, wait. There's another scientist. We're saving our great scientists up as well. 200 gold for the copper feels good. Surely we can get 202. No. Come on. 201. No? 200 for the copper. Thank you. Byzantine order. Don't need open borders. We can have open borders, though. They're trying to ban wine. Did I just see that? I mean, if it goes through, it goes through. There's not a lot you can do about it. And we'll build hydro plants in every city. We've got the chance. Not a stock exchange. Hydro plants, please. Because that is going to be so much production everywhere. Now, what's the fastest worker here? Addis Ababa is going to grow that border in two turns. So there's no need to actually put our general down on it. So we'll move back and we'll just wait to get our coal online. We're going to have issues because we're going to be wanting to build hydro plants and factories at the same time. So there's no need to rush anything. Let's improve this citadel. I wonder if we should just take more territory around here. That would just be troll. <laughs> the sort of thing that you really want to do with spare great generals. I wonder if there's opportunity to take more gold off of Venice too. I do want to rush by some stuff in Lalabella. We may not need to and have been holding off because we don't need to. There's free truffles here. When's he got that? Let's see if we can just take it. Nine? Nice. I know it's a bit of excess happiness that we don't really need, but it should tide us over until we get our ideology happiness. Yeah, our capital is starting to slow down now in terms of growth. And that's fine. I think we accept that. It's already pop 25. Like You're aiming for a capital of pop 25 or over. 30 is ideal, but 25 or over is perfectly good. So our capital is already as good as we need it to be. So we don't really have any worries for that. 
Oh, no, we're getting aluminium from somewhere else because we now have more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where? We, I could have just looked at this the whole time. Hurrah and Lalabella. Yeah, we're getting... We've got... Where are we getting it from? Six local resources. Three in Hurrah. Three not connected in Lalibella. But we're building... Four hydro plants. Is, is the game just gotten confused because we had that one? We've been given it without realising. This university's three turns. There's no point in buying it. Come on, Mr. Great General, get back to sleeping. Wait another turn for Addis Ababa. I really don't. There must be there must be something that I'm completely missing here. And I don't know what it is, but this thing is telling me that we shouldn't have six. It's telling us we should have three. Unless we're being... Because I thought unless we're being given it by a city-state, but we're not being given it by Antwerp. Antwerp doesn't have it. Get this coal online. We do need more coal. And if we could find a second source of coal, that would be really helpful. Unfortunately, Antwerp doesn't have any. Does the city-state that we just chucked our guy into have any? Bogota doesn't. Okay, because it would be ideal to get some coal. We're sort of moving around here just to see if we can see anything useful. It would be ideal to get more coal. And we can get two off of Poland. We'll maybe trade it for like two, two gold per turn. Three. Three gold per turn. Nice. And now we've actually got some coal, we can queue up factories afterwards in some of our cities here. The factory's kind of what I wanted to buy here. We need 281 more gold, though, to buy the factory in Lalabella. We're going to get that soon. In fact, I want to hold on to our gold to buy out Bogota. Want me to generate great merch, and that's not really happening. <laughs> so maybe we'll just wait, and we'll just build it. We're in no real rush. Another great writer in Attila's court. Should really think about whether or not we want to bulb these writers. Again, though, from what we were saying earlier, we do want to bulb the writers once we get to... Yeah, it's just work. This tile now, they're pretty valuable. And this one here, too. Uh, you wait. That's not a bad tile to be. Every time the city grows, we'll put it on like one of these dual tiles now. And ideally, the river tiles as well, because those are the ones that are giving us this ridiculous bonus. So let's just lock the river tile because it makes no difference. We've got our third artist. What essentially what I'm waiting for right now is for us to have an ideology because we don't. There's not really another social policy in here that we need right now. Like these social policies and rationalism can be the last two in the game. So there's not really another one that we want. We don't want to take them unless we have to. So I'm mostly just waiting. To, do we need to assign any more public schools? No. I'm mostly just waiting to start to bulb one or two writers until we get ideologies. We do still need to decide what we want to do with an ideology as well. Why are we moving so slowly here? Are we just crossing a river that I haven't seen? Oh, peace treaty, finally. Okay, will you give us some stuff? Come on. Fine, we'll just peace. <laughs> I didn't even realise that we still we were still at war, to be honest. I mean, Venice isn't plotting against us. I don't know what Poland's talking about. Another artist, we've entered the modern era. We can't pick our ideology this turn. So the reason why... Um, essentially, we took scientific theory, then industrialization, and then straight to radio. Is because when you enter the modern era, the turn after that, you get to choose an ideology. So we've entered the modern era to do that. Unfortunately, we can't do that yet because we have to wait until next turn and our social policies come this turn. But you know what? Gold from science buildings, never a bad thing. And then we need to make our ideology decision. I wonder where to put our next spy. I really want to put it in... Probably our next target is going to be Tyre. They have coal, they have resources we need. So let's just go and drop this spy into Tyre. I'm a big fan of dropping your spies into city-states. It just feels more useful that way. Like, we already don't really need to be stealing tech from the AI. We've got our university slots here. 
get an opera house and then we can pivot back around to like public schools and stuff so we've got radio we'll have our ideology choice next turn and i think we just need to carry on our merry way towards scientific theory oh holy all things holy holy hydro plant <laughs> oh my word what like look at this lublin is getting one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven tiles benefiting from a hydro plant right now like what are the actual hydro plant <laughs> well we're gonna work all of these 12 13 we're gonna work all of this lublin is turning into an absolute demon of a city Attila's Court is about to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 itself. How many are we going to get in Addis Ababa? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I mean, basically all of Addis Ababa's tiles are on rivers. This is nuts. Oh, my word. Poor Lalibella <laughs> is all I'm going to say. Like, poor Lalibella gets absolutely nothing. But holy hydroplant. That is absolutely nuts. I'm not entirely sure I've ever had a hydro plant empire this good. And we'll probably bulb a couple of writers the turn we open ideologies. Because we are at the maximum culture we're ever going to produce because of this World Congress project doubling our culture. So next turn, we'll take our ideology and we'll bulb a couple of writers to get as many policies in that ideology as possible. Because we've got this little boon now, um, autocracy is on the table. Because someone's already gone autocracy... It's quite hard to decide. Where's the ideology screen here? Notification log. Maybe it's in like culture overview or something. No. Oh, there's, a, there's a screen somewhere, I guess. But um, essentially, because... Can we see it here? To ideology. No. Um, essentially, because... Oh, it's going to be in this tourism section. So let's have a look. Essentially, because um, we've got an AI in autocracy and an AI in order... It makes it more difficult for us to go for that ideology because one of the important bits is that, and here's one of the reasons why you don't have to worry too, mu too much about culture, as long as you make sure to get your world's fair, as long as you make sure to work your guilds, as long as you make sure to get your ideologies wonder, um, if you get the two free policies in your ideology, you basically get all the social policies you need to complete whichever win condition you want to go for. Um, but if an AI has taken them, you get two free policies for taking an ideology first and then only one free if you take it second and then none three if you're third and after that and um, essentially because we'd had pretty poor culture we weren't gonna be able to take an ideology that someone else already has because we desperately needed that second social policy but because we won the world's fair and um, we pretty much got our pick and we can do whatever we want and i think we'll think on it and we'll end this episode here and next time round we'll We'll tackle ideology and make our boost towards the late game. So I hope you found this video useful. We didn't really achieve too much apart from handling happiness and in general making our empire ridiculous because it's now got 99 population and it's turned 131. But we did at least show a little bit about how to fend off an AI war. So I hope this has been somewhat useful to you. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Goodbye.